This is a podcast of Nathan, Nat and Sean. Let's go! Big news, everybody. The project is in town. Oh, my God. Filming here all week. And one of the stars is Pete Hellio joins us now. There's no turning back now, Perth. The Dirty Victorians here. (laughs) Thank you. So it's quite strange because um, for a while there, if anyone broke through our borders um, and we knew that you're yes. from Victoria, we would like, recall in horror and tell you to stay away. Mm. Tables have turned, Pete. Yeah, yeah. If it, we don't know who's the dirtiest here. <laughs> <laughs> We're all looking at each other going, no, you're the dirty one. <laughs> but welcome, welcome back, uh, Perth. It's good to have you be back in the family. With uh, The family's back together. We are ready yes. to succeed as soon as uh, at any time. So, <laughs> well, so <laughs> just remember that. We're ready to break through. Pete, I'm wondering, did you guys... Uh, uh, as the project got together one day and said, if Perth ever opens up, um, which is lo- unlikely to happen, we'll yep. go over there and do a show. And they and actually did happened. open up, and yeah. now we're here. Yeah, that, that's exactly what happened. Uh, the project got involved, and um, well, Channel, Channel Ten were actually originally pitching because you might know that NCIS Sydney is happening. Yes. Uh, which is the first time NCIS has been done outside of America, anywhere uh, in the world. Yeah. And uh, I think Channel 10 were pitching for a, a reboot of Prison Break to be set in, uh, <laughs> in, 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 in Western Australia again. Yeah. I'm not sure which Wahlberg was going to play Mark McGowan. Um, <laughs> Another vanilla ball on someone's body. It's <laughs> <laughs> pretty easy. It's one line. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, it, 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 it's funny enough. I've, I've come from Queensland um, to, to be here. I did some shows uh, there on the weekend. Yep. And I've been to Tassie, and I've been to Sydney doing shows at the Adelaide Fringe Festival. So it's 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 it is genuinely lovely that the country's opening up again. Yeah, yeah well, yeah. I mean, because we we did feel very isolated over here for a mm. while. I mean, like you know, morally superior, <laughs> <laughs> free but and, isolated, and free and living life. Uh, I almost normally. had to stop following Rove on Instagram. Yeah. He, was, he was the only comedian doing gigs in the bloody yeah. country. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, and then we sort of got um, then we we sort of started feeling all the um, like there was a bit of negativity coming from over east yeah. about the fact that we were living our lives normally. <laughs> And then people started hating Mark McGowan over there. And now um, we've got everyone over visiting and we've got Scott Morrison over here saying, I never called you cave people. <laughs> <laughs> Here's all the money. He really How much did. money do you want? <laughs> yeah, <that's right>. <laughs> <laughs> so everything's coming up Perth. Yeah, it's not bad. It is lovely. And we're still doing that weird thing when we walk in the studio. You're not sure. It's almost you turn into this rock, paper, scissors, handshake. Oh, yeah, you're yes. not quite sure. <laughs> yes. are, you doing, are, you do, are you doing this? Are you doing that? It's, uh, no, it's lovely. So, Pete, why, uh, why did you decide the project would come over here and do it just to reconnect with WA? Is this really a celebration? I mean, this has been, I mean, Borders, Outside of the actual virus, but borders have been oh, the, the, the yeah. massive issue yeah. that yeah, we've been course. talking about for yeah. you know, two, you know it's amazing Which when you say two and a half years like or whatever. Carrie could come and see her family for free, is that? Yeah, basically, yeah. yeah. It's all whatever Carrie, Elaborate, whatever, yeah. whatever Carrie can write off on tax. <laughs> that's what we do. <laughs> but we, um, yeah, this is this feels like okay. The country's you know opened up again, and, and um, we were very yeah. excited to you know the, the come yeah, get and, on board. And, and play play along. Yeah. Now, have you caught up with Rove since you've been here, mate? I got here last night, mate. So give me a chance. Um, <laughs> Still got your Straight party shirt on. I got the party shirt. I actually wore. I was actually. Uh, I had on. Uh, to be honest, a hard yak of Collingwood you know, retro oh, t shirt. I thought, no, this is. I got to wear a party shirt. So I've worn a party shirt. Um, but no, Rove is. Uh, he, he's doing stories with us all week. Actually, he's, I think he's. He, he's been at Ningaloo Reef already, and um, he's, he's getting about. I think he's heading the Margaret River, or maybe Lisa's doing Margaret River. But um, no, yeah, Lisa's doing Broom. Broom, isn't she? Well, I don't know. She was yeah, talking she's about doing it. Broom. Yeah, she's broom, doing broom. broom. Sound like yeah. tough gigs. Yeah. 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 As long as yeah. she doesn't have a margarita by herself. Yeah. That, 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 that's, how dare she? I mean, it's we're a bit talking. of an outrage, isn't it? I was pissed off because I wasn't invited. I, yeah. I was around. I, I would have had a margarita. What is, what is this party of one? I mean, how dare she? I remember when Steve Smith, remember years ago there was a story about Steve Smith in New York yes. who had a beer by himself and everyone yeah. was like, how sad is that? I was like, no, that's probably the greatest beer that bloke's ever exactly. had. Exactly. <laughs> like he's by himself, not being you know, annoyed by... Aussie cricket fans going up and saying, mate, tell us about that uh, uh, century in Pakistan you yeah. made. Tell us about that. Or do you want some sandpaper? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you excited to be um, uh, hosting the show from uh, Kings Park? Yes. Our yes. pride and joy? We've only really done um, this kind of thing once. We did it in Adelaide, you, you know, uh, seven years ago or so. And that was a lot of fun, and but this is like this is outside of you know like the Perth elements. in the background yeah. and the elements exactly. Uh, we're going to have you know uh, lots of Perth stories like filed by Rove and and yeah. uh, and Lisa and um, yeah. It's, and is it's, it true you're doing two versions of every show? So you're doing the Eastern States version, then you're going to do a local Perth one. Yeah, that's right. So we are we are actually doing a <laughs> twice like, as much a, work. A, a, a boutique 
bespoke made for Perth show. Double pay? Of the and Double then pay? you're going to be bitching better, about us for the other it. one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Oh, yeah. They'll never Miguel see McGowan's going to cop one, and he's going to be God in the other one. <laughs> that is so funny. Because you're at Kings Park, of course, you can do your special little segment, um, Let's Go Find a Body. Um, uh, so, <laughs> don't you think, Sean? <laughs> I've got a Bjorg and show him up there, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. WA Tourism haven't actually pointed that out, actually. But, uh... Only a matter of time. Uh, by day three, we'll run out of good things. So, uh... This is Nathan, Matt and Sean. Well, it was a big weekend of AFL football on the week. Weekend for Fremantle supporters who are up and about oh. for West Coast. Well, they know they've got injuries, but yeah. what happens if you're a Collingwood supporter? Who cares? You came into the season <laughs> thinking that you could be down the bottom of the ladder. Yeah. A lot of guys left over the last couple yeah. of years. Nathan Buckley's now on Fox Sports. He's not there at the helm. Got a new guy in, McRae, Brisbane yeah. champion. Yeah. Can he get it done and lead them to victory? Peter Hallier. Who knows? I think it could be good because Pete Hallier's tails wagging. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and first game up against... I think the Premiership favourite St Kilda. Um, <laughs> I think Famously. most people agree with that. Uh, uh, yeah, it was it was a very exciting uh, first game uh, for the Pies, and I my mind is very open of what Collingwood can achieve. I'm not saying it's going to be at the higher end mm. of the of, of the spectrum, but uh, it could be that we finish bottom four again, and we'll go back to the draft and keep piling, piling on, on the young talent. Or we, we we could play finals this year. Like it's it's my mind is open. It was a very exciting start. The exciting thing across the AFL, Pete... I'm very I, serious I, when I talk about footy now. Yeah, yeah, I can, he I can does. clearly see that. <laughs> and, and Pete, I think everyone will agree, it uh, doesn't matter who you follow in, mm. in the AFL, but all these young players getting the opportunity through COVID. Yes. Yeah. We're seeing around the league and also injuries. We see Dacos brothers now playing together. Yeah. What a what a, an amazing thing to have that happen. Nick Martin, a guy from Subiaco, yeah. goes over to Essen and kicks five goals five on goals, the weekend. Five goals, amazing. Uh, yeah. Josh Rochelle, who was picked up by the Adelaide well, Crows, yeah. kicked five goals. All these young stars now getting it mm. done. Nick Martin, I think, had 20. Seven touches to go along with his five goals as well. Well, Sean is just waiting for the AFL to get so desperate that they start pulling back um, past players into the game. (laughs) I almost played for West Coast yesterday. (laughs) Well, well, not even past players. It's just your flight was late. That was the only difference. So, say Collingwood, if they were to bring that rule in. Who would you want who recently quit? Strawny. To be in? Oh, well, Strawny gets a game. <laughs> well, yeah, that goes um, without saying. <laughs> that's, that's, um, uh, recently uh, retired. Uh, oh, yeah, or not so Swanee. recently. Maybe Swanny. Oh, yeah. Dane, Dane Swan. Swan. Good Dane Swan. Yeah. yeah. Dane Swan, yeah. He yeah. can still get around the park. He yeah. never, ever looked fit in a million years to me, Dane Swan, but he never stopped running and moving and always racked up 35 possessions. I'll tell you somebody who I'll, I'll, be, I'll be very surprised if he hasn't made a call to his former club is Favola. I think Fev, <laughs> Fev would be in his. His actual mind, he'll be thinking, I could still yeah. play this at this yeah. level. <laughs> Sean? And they would still want me. In yeah. my yeah. mind, I'm that person. <laughs> He's that person. <laughs> He's so, so just you're, checking his phone now. You are cultivating this discussion that basically put in, in, in Justin Longmuir's head that That's you are right. available. I did run a by belly once and he shut me down in about yeah. five seconds. Yeah. So that was only uh, around Easter. If you go oh, to sorry, Sean's Christmas. car right now and go into his gym bag, his old, his old outfit's there. He's ready to go. He's ready to go. Still got the, anch- ready to go. got the anchor on the yeah, front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I wear the retro version? I do love, Nathan, that you refer to it as an outfit. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Costume outfit. I don't know what to call it. Is it Gersey? 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 Kit, baby <laughs> kit. <laughs> Strip. Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, Brendan Favola was on... Fed was on the TV the other day and I was telling my young fella that this guy kicked a thousand yeah. goals. You know, he kicked so Ele- many goals. Elite player. One day he nearly kicked, he kicked 90 goals when he finished the season. Buddy Franklin, he kicked 100 at the end. But um, I was also telling him one day at uh, Eddie Had, I was trying to run away from Fev and I thought that I would be faster than him. And I went for the one bounce and I was off. And he ran me and down he and you. smashed me into you the ground. <laughs> down by Fev. Yes. <laughs> it was super, super embarrassing, actually. I can't remember if I've ever chasing before. I know. <laughs> I thought, nah, the one Were time you Gollywood. No, I, I thought I was moving out, Nate, but I wasn't. <laughs> so you're at top speed. <laughs> Were you on a treadmill? <laughs> you would have you worked very hard at training that week, or as Nathan refers to it as rehearsals. <laughs> 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 hey Pete, one other thing we're really proud of at the moment is our Perth Wildcats over here. Yes. Um, we're talking off air about the NBA and you love the Boston Celtics, but do you follow Melbourne Victory yeah, or uh, South East? Uh, United, Melbourne Victory. United, United, Victory. Melbourne. Melbourne United. Melbourne United. Melbourne United. United. Victory's a soccer, yeah. Uh, United, <laughs> yes, yes. I was at the game actually. There's a great game uh, between United and the Phoenix uh, early in the season when the, the fight uh, broke out. And yes. There was a big dunk over, um, was, that, was that over Delhi? I think somebody dunked over Delhi yeah, and, and yeah. then a uh, bit of a blue broke out. That was, that was exciting. Yeah, but if you get a chance to get 
to a basketball game. Yeah. It, is, it, is, it is really exciting. Yeah, um, we are do feel superior over here because of the um, run of the Wildcats. Yeah, mm. they've like been victorious 30. for so long. Do you guys acknowledge that, or do you? They've see been in the finals fast? like who, who, for thirty four or thirty five. So who are these Wildcats you're talking about? I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not <laughs> the NBA. Have you seen High School Musical? <laughs> 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 well, you, I think what you, should, you should be very proud of the Wildcats, but also the Scorchers. They were yeah, incredible to, for good. them to win that tournament. I mean, they're always good, but you always kind of back here, Brian. You go, well, they play over on their own deck, and that's a very hard deck to yeah. win if you yeah. if you if you're coming in from interstate. But to be away from home for yeah. that whole the whole, you know, the whole season, season and win was pretty incredible. That that is incredible because the Perth Glory have been away for pretty much most of the season yeah. to the last few games, and they haven't had a win. They're coming back because they're so. Uh, they've been, you know, smashed from pillar to post. They've come back and now they've lost all their games and their coach has got the sack overnight, um, Richard Garcia. So some teams can yes. handle it, like the Wildcats <laughs> playing over there and yeah, um, the Scorchers. first Scorchers and other teams haven't and probably waited to come back to WA and, and get it done and they've just sunk further down. Yeah, right. There you go. Yeah. Nathan? The boring part. <laughs> <laughs> that, was the, that was the lowest part of your sports report, just that okay. bit there. Okay. So, so we'll, we'll have to think about yeah. it. So we'll have a think. It's yeah. all, um, <laughs> Reflect on we that. Probably right. workshop this. There are workshop different this things afterwards. happens to different people, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> Never a true word we, we don't believe in finishing on a high around here. <laughs> <laughs> we, we like to just like run to out of fuel and conk out on the side of the road. <laughs> Petering oh, out. How's fuel for you guys? Isn't that it's over two bucks. Over two bucks. Mate, yeah. are no. you kidding me? Try dri- yeah. driving a diesel. It's devastating. I won't. <laughs> you, this, is, this is your effort to try to get the segment back on uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 petrol. Yeah. 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 petrol. As I say, the name is one. Nathan, Nat, and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au.